Okay, first we're gonna start by turning over our pumpkin and removing the string that is used to hang the pumpkin. And I'm gonna put it aside because I'm gonna put mine back on for later. You can get spackle and spackle the little holes and sand it to make it flat and you can use it as a straight plaque. But I like to add my string back on in case I wanna hang it or if I wanna use it on a stand. We're gonna start painting our pumpkin with the chalk paint. And you do one coat, don't forget the sides, one coat. We're gonna put it aside, let it dry, and start cutting out our printable, our print. Whatever one you chose, I chose this little witchy poo one. I don't know, I'm naming it already. A witchy poo, witchy poo. And just trim it however you want, how close you want to the image. I felt like doing something fun and colorful this time. I don't know, I just... I like a lot of color. I'm a whimsical fantasy freak, so lots of colors for me. Second coat of the Waverly chalk paint. And just the same repeat what we did the first time. We're just gonna put it all over, all over the pumpkin and the stem. And we're gonna let it set it side, let it dry. I know I don't show that I let it dry, but I am letting them dry in between. So, maybe I should have put that in, huh? I don't know. Well, you let them dry in between your paint and your pumpkins. Now it's dry, and now I'm going to do my stem of my pumpkin with the mineral paint, chalk paint. Mineral chalk paint. I get my paintbrush and I am just gonna paint the bottom of the pumpkin stem. I have more control over it than the sponge brush because the sponge brush would be all over the place. So I'm using the paintbrush just so I can make it look a little, I don't know, rounded at the edges. I wanted to make it, I don't know, you do you. Like I said, you guys know what I say, right? It's your signature. Do you. Just have fun doing it. That's what this is about, is having fun. Relaxing. Put some music on and just a glass of wine, tea, coffee, lemonade. Lemonade, that cool refreshing drink. Yeah, and there we got it, our stem. As that's drying, we get our two ribbons. I like to tie my two ribbons together. And of course, my shoe tie bow. I don't know, I just like the shoe tie bows. I just think they're cute. They're simple and they're cute. And fluffing it out, I chose the black and purple. You can choose orange and black, orange and purple, just whatever color you want. Green in there, anything Halloween-y. Anything Halloween-y, Lini says. I trim the tails into a point. I don't know, I just say to a point. And fluff it out, see what you think of it. There you go, a cute bow. Uh, my lighter I use a lighter to which you guys all probably already do burn the edges just so they don't run or fray real quick one watch your fingers be careful there you go our bow now I'm getting some of the little medium sized thick twine I call them medium medium thick twine it's not nautical thick, it's not the thin twine, 
It's right in the middle twine. <laughs> but anyway, I'm tying that into a shoe knot bow, shoe tie bow. And you just size it on top to see how you like it on your... Um, they're just going to be friends now. We're just going to put them on top. Yep, there we go. Glue them, put them together, layer them. Trim it. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, that's going to look so cute. There you have it. We're going to put a little bit of glue in the middle. In the center and put our twine bow on top. And there you have it. They're best friends. Look at that. They're all together. Now, <clears throat> we're going to do some Mod Podge. We're going to put a thin, or, you know, just a simple, not too, too thick, but I put some Mod Podge on the pumpkin, not on the stem. I just put it on the pumpkin so we can put our print on top and have it start drying. I hope I make sense to you guys. Sometimes I babble, I get tongue tied, I say the weirdest things, I know. It's Eileen language, I tell you. Welcome to Eileen's world. Hopefully I'm not too confusing. And look at that, placing the witchy poo on my pumpkin. And you just smear your fingers all over it, pressing down. Getting all, making sure there's no bubbles or wrinkles. It's flat, flushed on the pumpkin. And let it dry completely before I, I like to let it dry completely before I put my my Mod Podge on top of it because I don't want it to bubble or get wrinkly if I like to let it fully dry see so far Okay guys, now that it's dry, I've got my stencil brush and my paint plate. That's what I call it. And my paints. And I'm just gonna dab that in there, put a little bit on paper towel so it's not too much and make a circular, mo circular motion where they're making like circles. Which, you know, here's a tip. I wish I would've got some of those sponge brushes that are circles on the, you know, and just brush them and dot it like boom, boom. That probably would have been a lot easier. They sell those at the Dollar Tree. Maybe you guys want to use that instead of this if you like. I mean, this is good, but that probably would have been really ideal for this project. And I just keep getting the colors and Now I get this a small paintbrush and make smaller circles. I wanted it to look like a cauldron, a witch's cauldron, you know, bubbles. That's what gave me my idea was bubble bubbles, you know, and like a cauldron. And I just thought, you know what? I want to make them so colorful, whimsical, magical. My witchy poo's happy, so she's colorful. Look at that. And then I'm just making smaller dots now. Just really tiny little dots. I wanted them to be all different sizes. All over, see? You just put your dots wherever you want. You look at it and just say, huh, I'll put one there, put one there, put one there. Oh, I'll put one there. I mean, I can go really crazy and just put them all over the place, but I was trying to contain myself. There you go. See, look at that. Yay. Now I got my black paint pen 
and I'm making little dots, different sizes. Medium dots, small, tiny little speck dots. No, little specks, look at that. Tiny. Yep, little, little, just dot. I mean, you can use the Apple Barrel acrylic paint also, but the paint pen made it so much faster. <clears throat> Now I'm using the white paint pen and I'm just wiggling lines for the stem. I just wanted my stem to look kind of like a, a twist, you know, a twist, 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 a twisty stem. Make it look like it's all, well, like a, a puffy little twist stem. It look cute. Look at it doesn't have to be perfect we're having fun relaxing and we're just now putting little C's in the bubbles in the larger circles I'm putting just like a press like a little dot and then like a C motion like you're making a C you know A B C like a C we're making some C's, C's in our bubbles to make it look liquidy, you know, like the bubbles are blowing up. Look at that. Yay. It's all dry. Make sure your bubbles are really dry so they don't bleed and smear and you want your your printable to be fully dry and your stem to be fully dry and when they are you get our Mod Podge and we just smear it all over you try to go in the same direction one direction so everything looks nice and clean and flush not a bunch of lines or anything going everywhere you want it one direction so everything dries nice and smooth. Now after that's dry, we get the same rope. I use the same rope that I made the boat for the bow. And I am just putting a little bit of glue on the tip and at the, the edge of the stem of the pumpkin and press down and after that you just start putting your glue along the side and your rope follow it along all on the sides be careful you don't burn your fingers because the glue is very hot we all know that I'm like a worried mama careful for your fingers it's hot don't burn yourself. You gotta be careful. And you just put it on the edge, put your rope on the edge, and just follow along. We're gonna do this till we get to the other side of the stem of the pumpkin. You know, I I was looking in I think the nautical rope from Dollar Tree would look really nice on this project because it is thicker. I would, I should have used maybe a thicker rope. I mean, it's still, this is still nice. It still looks cute, but the thicker one would have, I think, looked really cute on it. Yeah. It's funny, you can look at things now after you're done with it and say, hmm, I could have did this, or maybe I should have did that. So hint, hint, I'm giving you guys all these hints now. Just dress it up more, put that nautical rope on it. Oh, and there's the bow. We're gonna glue the bow down. And another tip I just noticed right now, and I'm looking, if you get the little Velcro dots at the Dollar Tree or at Walmart, you could put it on the back of your bow and then when Halloween's over, pop it off and have another bow on the side 
and flip it over and use the thankful blessings for Thanksgiving and have a Velcro bow on that. And you can remove them and just flip them each side. Just a hint, hint. And there we go. Look at our pretty our witchy poo. She's so cute. So colorful. Now I'm placing back my string so I can hang it if I like. And there we have it. I hope you guys liked it. It was my pleasure crafting with you.